Before we continue guys, I just want to note that it's very possible to get ribbons, dark matters, and break damage limit at this point by uh, spamming Zamato on Dr. Jumbo himself. You have to kill the best at five times in a row in order for him to be um, officially dead. What you want to do is use a model to kill him and then save your game, then try it again. If it fails, just, just you know, re just re reset and just just keep doing it until you get all the, all the rhythms you want. Like I said, the model is kind of cheap, but I have to admit that it does indeed come in handy. Mainly for killing Dr. Jumbo over and over and over and over and over again. In an effort to farm easy ribbons. That's actually the easiest way to get ribbons. So Zamato is cheap, but it does come in handy. Cause I will admit, getting ribbons in this game without killing Dark Aeons is a pain in the ass. And the fact that you can kill Dark Gemma as many times as you want to makes that the absolute best way to get ribbons in this game. So there are some times when I do use the model guys. There you happy? Sometimes Yuna would just stare off into the distance. I finally understood why. She was saying goodbye to the places she'd never see again. All right, one of my personal favorite levels in the game, Mount Gagazat. But first, a lot of talking with the Ronso. And I like how Elder Kelt just came out of nowhere. And look at B-Ron. You see? This is what I'm talking about. Why is his mouth constantly open? They do that a lot in this HD remaster. Why does this happen? Why? Summoner Yuna and Guardians leave here at once. If you don't know what I'm talking about, guys... Take a look at some of these some of these people on the PS2 version and then look at that same person on the on the on the PS3 version and you will see what I'm talking about when I say their mouths are constantly open. Like they're always smiling. Gagazet is Ronso land, sacred mountain of heaven. The mountain will not bear the footsteps of infidels. Enemy of Yevon is enemy of Ronso. Leave, traitors! I have cast aside Yevon. I... I follow the temple no more. Then you will die by those words. So be it. Yevon has warped the teachings and betrayed us all. Nothing but a bunch of low-down tricksters, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, yeah! We have no regrets. Blasphemers! Oh, I love this part. That is so cool. A summoner and her guardians. See, see, now his mouth is closed. You see the difference? Lord Kelgronzo, if I may. Have you not also turned your back on Bevel? But still, you guard Gagazet as a Ronso, not a Maester. Yuna is much the same. Huh? Elder Kelk! Let Biran rend them asunder! <laughs> no escape! Not one! No, we will not flee. We will fight and continue on. You have been branded a traitor. But still, you would fight sin? Lost to the temple, hated by the people, yet you continue your pilgrimage? Everything lost 
What do you fight for? I fight for Spira. I like how Yuna's face completely changed here. A second ago, she had smaller eyes. Now her eyes just grew bigger. Yeah. Okay. The people long for the calm. I can give it to them. It's all I can give. Defeating sin, ending pain. This I can do. Even sacrificing yourself. Bronzo, let them pass. Summoner Yuna, your will is stronger than steel. Tempered steel that even the mightiest Ronzo could not hope to bend. Yuna, we bow to your will. Now go. The sacred heights of Gagazet welcome you. We thank you. Alright, there's actually a lot of talking here. You, you can talk to these guys and trigger, you know, a few cutscenes, but no thank you. I will talk to you, though, of course. You think of anything yet? <laughs> um, guys, is there a reason that, uh... Is there a reason that Elder Kelk is the only Ronso in the entire game that doesn't speak in third person? Oh well. Anyway guys, we have a boss fight coming up here. Actually, didn't put this on. I did kind of go out of my way to get this damn thing. I might as well use it at least one time. Might as well put this on. Put that to use too. Uh, let's do this. Ashley, just in case things don't go right, let me save my game. I mean, not that this is a hard fight, but uh, you see, there's a couple of Ronso raises that I want to learn here. Uh, haven't you bothered us enough? Close your mouth, B-Run. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck! Look at that! Okay, you see Riku back there? Look at it. What? Why? I, I, I can't believe that... I can't believe that they did not fix this shit. Doing this little part right here, sometimes Riku is facing the other way. It was like that on the PS2 version. Why does this happen? Why? Pass. Kimari not pass. Kimari shame Ronso brothers. Kimari forget his birth. Forget his people. Forget his mountain. Little Ronso. Weakling Ronso. Mountain hate the weak. Hate the small. If you will climb, then I must prove my strength. Think you will win? You not forget who took your horn. Never forget. Kimari never beat Brother Biran. Never win. This time, I win. I will win. Why, you... Is this some kind of Ronso thing? Kimari problem. Kimari problem. We run, run you asunder! We run, run you asunder! 
Hardless! Hardless! This is actually a pretty epic fight here. Fire breath. Okay, so first of all, there's two of them. And second of all, Kamari, they're both twice your size. So how the fuck do you expect to win? Well, I'll tell you. For starters, um... The way this fight works is... The strength of the strength of being around the Yankee depends on how strong Kamari is. If Kamari is strong, they're strong. If Kamari is weak, they're weak. Some people tend to think that the only purpose of this fight is to learn any roster rages that you might have missed. But no, that's not the real purpose of this fight. I mean, that is the purpose of this fight, but there's something about these two that some people don't know. They both have level 3 key spheres. A rare steel is actually two of them. So, and I think the only way that you're going to get Master Thief at this point in the game is to um, do the little chocobo race to get 30 pendulums. I really only need about three or four of them right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. By the time I need a lot of them, I'll be in the Mega Ruins and then enemies will, will start dropping them and stuff like that. The way I do this, I used to steal three from, from both of them. And then I take him out. I don't. I, I don't leave this fight until I get six of them. After that, then we'll explain exactly how the fight works. By the way, how many have I stolen from B Run? By the way, Momo, get your ass down! Get down! Get the fuck! Th get down! Damn cat, climbing on my damn cabinet. You know better than that. Now, thanks to you, I, I don't know how many key spheres I've stolen. Oh, good! Look at that! See? Rest still. See that? Awesome, awesome. Now I got two of them. Alright, I think that's enough. Thanks to my cat, I lost count how many I actually stole. And without Riku, I can't mix and see him. Well, I got a rest still, so I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's enough. Anyway, guys, uh, you can learn every Ronsa Rage in the game from these two guys, except for um, Bad Breath, I think. I'm not sure. And um, Armington, of course. Everything else you, you can learn from these two guys. But uh, two of them are special. We'll uh, talk about that when we get to it. Don't bother doing physical attacks against these two guys while they're together like this. Because if you attack one... The other one protects him. If you attack Yankee, B-Ron protects him. If you attack B-Ron, Yankee protects him. Not good enough, Kimari. Not good enough, Kimari. When they're separate like this, that's when you want to attack them. If you want to use physical attacks, of course. Forty one damage really do Too slow Come on, I want him set. <laughs> I want him to say too slow before I continue. Okay, here we go. White win. Very, very important. Make absolutely sure that you, um, that you, uh, okay. You don't want to, like, you, you don't want to kill one of them off before they do their moves. For example, if I were to kill B1 first before making him do the, uh, white win, he wouldn't have used it. In order for Kamar to learn White Wind from, from Yankee, he has to actually use White Wind first. Let me just go ahead and put a little jump on B-Ron here.
Now then, I'll take that. The same thing with B-Run. Do not kill Yankee off until B-Run uses Mighty Guard. Let me try stealing, I guess. This is the, strength of Kimari. the reason for this is, if you kill one of them off before they use Mighty Guard or White Wind, they won't use it for the rest of the fight. And for a mighty guard and white wind, they have to actually use it first in order for you to learn it. Uh, what do I want to do here? Ah, what the hell? Press kick. Still alive after that, really? I mean, th this of course is a is an easy fight, but I gotta break it down for the noobs. And that looks like a very useful ability, my friend. Let's try it, shall we? By the way, guys, uh, that Doom spell I learned from B-Run, I should have I got it from the ghost when I encountered it in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the cave of Stolen Faith. I could just go to the Mustard and do it then, but it's okay. Uh, Kamari, why is your back turned? Why? Come on, I, I, I want to hit B-Ron say too slow. Immune, bitches. Why is he saying too slow? Why? Come on, B-Ron. Thank you. What the fuck takes so long? Okay, after you kill one of them off, uh, B-Run will use Berserk if he's still standing, and Yankee will use Haze if he's still standing. Kamari, why is your back turned again? Of course, he's got you, so I can be a little cheap, and I can probably kill both of them off at the same time. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, why'd I do that? He's immune to that. What What the fuck am I doing? See, this, this is what I get for touring around with him. I'm not going to use any items in this fight. This is supposed to be a, a, a battle of, of a strength for, for Ronso, so I'm not going to do that. I'll just keep stealing while they're together like that. And when they separate, then I'll attack them. Oh, good. I got another one. Okay. That was worth it. I mean, of course, I, I could have won this fight like th like three times by now, but, you know, I really want to get that, um... I really want to... Get those key spheres. Let me kill Yankee first. All right, B Run will now use Berserk. Of course, you can actually kill both of them off at the same time before that happens. In fact, this is one of the few things I don't like about this game, to the fact that you can't actually you can't actually use Berserk yourself. Let me see how much damage he does now. Just having some fun here. Okay, I blocked it and did 200, so if I didn't block it, probably would have did like a 1,000 or something. I don't know. Just die, please. <laughs> you win, Kimari Ronso. Nothing hard about this fight at all. It's just very epic. I had to drag it out. If you overkill them, you'll get two. I don't know exactly how many, how much HP you need to overkill the bastards, but it's not like I can't get those from the monster in the Strong is Kimari. Biran is happy. Did you see that? Riku's back was still turned. Sacred Mount Kagazet. I honor the name of strong warrior who defeats Biron. Remember always, Gagazet, that name is Kimari. 
Mountain knows Kimari strong. Kimari may pass. Summoner! We, Ronso, will stop pursuers from temple. Truly? Penance for breaking Kimari's horn long ago. We crush enemies following behind. Kimari crush enemies standing before. You are most fortunate, Summoner. I thank you. Riku, what the fuck are you looking at? See, what I, I, I can't believe that they did not fix this. What is Riku looking at? Why is she turned the other way? Look, look at that. What, what, what is she doing down there? Who will shine your statue brightest. Uh, thank you. But I fear that no one will make a statue for a traitor such as I am. Then Ronzo will make. With grand horn on head. That would be wonderful. I wanted to see Yuna's statue too, but I wanted to see it with Yuna by my side. Summoner Yuna! What is it this time? Okay, we got that little nonsense out of the way. Let's continue. Uh, was this something? Ah! And it only makes sense that I use Kamara here. So I'm going to do that now. Unfortunately, I haven't been using him at all during this LP. So I can't use him to his fullest potential. Kamari is actually probably the best character to use on Mount Gagazat, but only if you have the Slayer Overdrive mode. For the simple fact that on this mountain, there is a single enemy on this mountain that's immune to stone. Kamari has stone breath, so every time he uses it, he, uh, you always kill at least three enemies, so his old job be like, what, 60% 60, 60 full? Every time you do it, sorry for the burp. <laughs> Uh, dude, you know Riku doesn't like lightning. You know Riku does not like lightning. You're gonna pay for that. Poison Fang. Don't worry, there's more where that came from. Die! Damn bombs. Moving on, let's see, Kamari here. Uh, yeah, see, I, I just haven't been, been using him at all. I never use him. Don't know why. But like I said, guys, there is a single enemy on the stage. Outside, anyway. 
that's immune to um, that's immune to stone. Where are my petrified grenades? I know I got at least two of them. Did I use them? Where the hell are they? Here we go. Three. Okay. Nice one, baby. Anyway, these little statue things here, check a little 10 second cutscenes. These mark the graves of summoners and guardians who failed. Okay. You three again, really? Uh, yo, Rake, for antidote, sometimes you get a remedy, I think. And by the way, I need I need to be catching these guys while I'm at it. Got that guy. So, spring, nice. You miss because you suck. These best here, obviously, they counterattack. When they put up their dukes. Uh come on now, where is it? There we go. Capture. Double punch. Kamara does have a catch weapon. Gotcha, bitch. Okie dokie. I caught a bomb, I caught a grab. I caught the big ogre bastard. I don't think I've caught an imp yet. Actually, uh, the imp counts as a monster inside the um, inside the second cave, and I haven't caught one yet at all. So I definitely need to catch one so I can activate the downtime bay later on. You asked for it. More bombs. Five gem times three, very, very nice. Thunder guy. You hit Riku again. <sighs> you know she doesn't like that. Will you please cut that out? You're pissing me off. I hate it when you do that. You know she doesn't like that shit. Die, bitches. Well, I got him anyway. I missed one. That's okay. I need to catch it anyway. Die! Okay. By the way, uh, that Calamity Bomb I just did is basically a weaker version of Chaos Grenade. Just to uh, let you know that in case you want to know what the hell it was. Ambushed. How lovely. Now watch how hard that dragon hits. Look at that. You see, I, I told you, you, you can't let those guys get a turn. And yet another electric attack. <sighs> you guys really piss me off with all these damn electric attacks, man. I, I can't stand it, but you're not worth dark matter. And every time they do electric attack, they always attack Riku. I, 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 I can't stand that. Let me just go ahead and catch this guy. All right, banner snatch catcher. I needed him. Yoink! Let me heal up first. All right, guys, eyes forward. Okay, now, gotcha, bitch. Nine thousand, cool. Kamari, let's see if we can raise your attack a little bit. Threaten. I forgot exactly what threaten does because I've never actually used it. What's that do again? <laughs> I'm going to look it up in a second. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, guys, there are many, many, many abilities in this game that you, that you just aren't going to use. Kamari got four attack points, so now he can hit just a little harder. Immobilizing me with fear. 
What does that do? Make him flinch for a turn or something like that? That I ain't been a snatch. Riku, baby, let's just get that damn uh, Machina thing out of here. Fragonade, nice. That's actually kind of a real item. I still won't get a turn before the dragon attacks, and I can't let that dragon attack, so I guess I, I need to go ahead and kill it now. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to see what this uh, what this uh, threaten does. Oh, what the hell? I, I think I'll live. Oh, it paralyzed him. Cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, that's actually the first time I used that ability. I've never used that until now. Not bad. I've never used Threaten before. Never. Are there any bosses that are vulnerable to that by any chance? I kind of doubt it. Anyway, there's a sphere down here for Braska. Not Braska, but Orin. Let's just go ahead and take a look at it, I guess. Hello, Yuna. I hope you are well. I wonder how old you are now that you're watching this sphere. You must be very beautiful, like your mother. I wish I could see you. Oh, by the way, Jekt and Oren send their regards. So far, our journey has been very entertaining. Of course, it is a hard journey, but I have no regrets. It is the path I have chosen. Yuna, when you've grown, you will have to find your own path. Do what you must do the way you want to do it. Doors will always open themselves to those who do. Listen close, Yuna. Your future is yours to make. Live the way you want to. Whatever way that may be, you have your father's full support. Yuna, I will always be with you. Okay, I'm assuming that Braska must be a red maze because Jet and Orin are both melee physical fighters. So that means Braska must have black magic and white magic, but bah, who cares? Maybe someday they'll make a game on that. Anyway, guys, there's something about that scene that makes absolutely no sense. Braska put that sphere there, and he was talking to Yuna, as if he knew that Yuna would be the only person who would find that sphere. But DK, that sphere didn't get there until Oren brought the crew to the, to, to the boss, so you know Oren knew that the spheres would be loose off that. But still, after that, anybody could have found it. Ah well. Let's continue. Once again, I don't know why I'm criticizing my favorite game here. Go, Kamari! Look, your favorite explosives. I really miss uh Metal Gear Solid 2 guys. And unfortunately, sad to say, I have not played Metal Gear Solid 3, Metal Gear Solid 4, or Metal Gear Solid 5. The only Metal Gear Solid games I've played are Metal Gear Solid on um, PlayStation 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, of course, and I played the um, the Twin Snakes on, Dream on uh, not not Dreamcast, but Twin Snakes came out on, on um, GameCube. Twin Snakes was okay. It's a remake of the first game. The only problem I have with it, besides the fact that I, I, I need a GameCube controller, of course, is that the... Um, uh, unfortunately, the cutscenes in that game were just completely exaggerated. They tried to overdo it, but some of the cutscenes were were much better in the original version, straight to the point. But the cutscenes in in, in in the remake, Twin Snakes, just really just totally exaggerated. And it's a good thing that it's not like this game where you're forced to watch it. Die! Damn bombs. Yeah, uh, Fat Man is probably my favorite boss in Metal Gear Solid because it's it's so much fun fighting him. The the dude is fighting you on fucking rollerblades, and he's, he's planting bombs, and, and 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 you gotta put out the bombs while you're fighting him. 
I will note that on the European difficulty, it's pretty fucking difficult. Very hard. Because he never stops planting bombs. You have to actually defuse the bombs to see he plants them. Because if you don't, you, you're going to have to put out five bombs in 20 seconds and that's just, just not going to happen. It's, it's just not. Don't know why I'm wasting my time catching these guys now. Uh, that's something I'm going to be doing off screen. I've already got one of everything here. That's pretty much all I need right now to unlock the um the big behemoth dude in the must arena. And of course, I got to catch the guys in the tiff attack. That's the counter tiff Riku, right? Of course, I I got to catch the the muscle the muscles. Ooh, with, with two free slots, nice. I got to catch the guys in in the water level to um to unlock Shim Yu. See that's that's where that magic counter comes in. See that that's exactly where that magic counter comes in. So it might not be a bad idea, a bad idea to get that. Unfortunately, they um she just killed him off before Kamari had a turn, so Kamari didn't get any experience points. And that reminds me, I need to make sure that Kamari takes his turns from now on. So in order to do that, I'm going to need a first strike. And you guys are probably going to say that I'm wasting my return spheres. Uh, but you see, these things are so easy to get. And I can't wait to get them once. I, I have got to sell this shit. This is just, just, just way too much junk here. Let me do this just so Kamari can, can go first and actually take his turns. So I can start leveling him up finally. I'll save these for Kamari, so I can probably get that Slayer mode for him. That way he can use the old job much more often. Get this big one out of here first. Uh, note that these are machines here sometimes. They drop Auto Phoenixes, so not Auto Phoenixes, but they drop Mega Phoenixes, which is used to make Auto Phoenix. The big ones, not the small ones. Okay, uh, actually, the way to the right, but I want to go here first, straight ahead. There's a little detour down. Ah! Look, your favorite explosives. Anyway, guys, as I was saying, let me get this. A defending bracelet for Owen. I thought there was another one here, but it's not. Uh, aren't I missing a treasure chest way back there at the beginning? I can't remember. Defending Brace for Orn. This thing gets some poison proof, but most importantly, it gets some stone proof. So Orn has stone proof. Uni has stone proof. And Lula has stone proof. So I've got three characters that got stone proof. Unfortunately, one of them isn't Riku, so yeah. But that's very, very important for when you get to the uh, Mega Ruins if you're doing it before you um before you get your Celestial Weapons because of those those damn stone breathing bastards. What the fuck they're called? Uh, Demon Lalas or something. I don't know. I can't pronounce their names. Anyway, let's continue. We've got a lot of climbing to do. We're, we're only like halfway down this mountain. Sadly. And Bush by mocking the high lovely. Uh, let me just go ahead and get one of them out of here. Uh, how many times are these bastards gonna use lightning on Riku? I mean, seriously. Why don't they cut it out already? How can I run on this slow and not slip and slide? I should be falling to my death right now. Like I was saying, guys, there is a single enemy on this level that's immune to Stone Breath. Mm -hmm. 
So right now, if I had the Slayer Overdrive mode and I had the uh, Comrade Overdrive mode for Kamari, Kamari could just completely just own this place. But fortunately, I don't. And here's once. Greetings, Lady Yuna. My name is Wants. We have met several times before, right? Not running today? Huh. I have to carry on my brother's business. You've met him, I think. Owaka the 23rd, merchant extraordinaire. Wait, you're that guy's brother? Hmm. My brother wanted to come help Lady Yuna. But the temple imprisoned him for helping traitors. They imprisoned him because of us? He doesn't regret it, though. In fact, he told me before they took him. Don't worry about me. Just go help Lady Yuna. But why would your brother do this for us? Well, hey, this isn't the time for talking. There's dealing to be done. Welcome to Owaka's. You guys suck, man. How, how the fuck are you helping us out if you're charging us money? Give me that, the conductor. Yes. And look at this, a magic booster for Lulu. Not bad, except for the fact that it also comes with magic 10% uh, and magic 5%. If this thing had magic booster by itself, I would definitely buy it. But I'm not going to buy that because I want to put like winner P cars. And break damage limit on that and first strike too and stuff like that. Okay. Riku has alchemy. I don't need that. Trust me. I, with her overdrives, I, I don't need this. Orin doesn't need that, of course. Fire strike, lightning strike, ice strike. I don't need this shit. Double penalty. No, thank you. Conductor, double edged sword. Nah, you don't need that. I then so don't need these. Uh, SOS haste for Riku. That actually might come in handy. I wish it didn't cost so much. Nah, I don't need that. I, I, I'm not wasting my money. Actually, yeah. Uh, by the time I sell all this shit, I probably have 9,000 gil. I forgot. I'm, I'm supposed to sell this stuff, aren't I? Hmm. This is going to take a while. Riku has an even number of hit points. It's not an odd number, which means she won't come back in caution mode when she's revived. So, nah, ain't no point me getting that. Nah, I'm not going to get that. I will be sure to keep your brother in my prayers. He's doing the same for you, lady. Anyway, I'm not done with this dude just yet. Welcome to you got any items? Holy water! If you're under level, may actually sure you, you get about 20 or 30 of these. Maybe not that many, but you definitely want to get a few of them. Please, for fuck's sake, get this. Please. Anyway, let's finally continue. Still got a little ways to go. Ambushed again? Really? I'm gonna make sure I kill that damn imp because he, he's, he, he's not doing any, any more lightning attacks on Riku. Fuck that. Anyway, continuing. I think there's another one of these things here, right here. <laughs> more random encounters. Anyway, as I was saying, let's get these lovely things down here. HP sphere, nice. Level 4 key sphere, even nicer. Once again, guys, for those of you wondering how come I use my HP spheres and my and my MP spheres for Riku's mix, it's because I simply just don't need them. I, I really don't. I don't need uh, HP spheres or magic spheres in this game. Not magic spheres, but uh, MP spheres. What the fuck was that? The the last fire spell hit the ogre, but the plant took the damage. And it was a late reaction. 
was kind of a glitch with that. This this uh HTV mess this this uh HTV master apparently has a lot of glitches and bugs in it. Unfortunately. They've been promising us a release date for a long time now, and we were just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and they know that we were getting pissed off, so they, they went ahead and, and, fit and, and released it what they had without getting all the bugs out. And now we got things like freezes and music skipping and long load times, and Rika turned her face the other way, and Rika not saying Yahoo when she, when she throws the blitz ball, people with their mouths constantly open doing cutscenes. Yeah. So there are some things about this HD remaster that disappointed me, but for the most part, I'm pretty pleased with it. Yeah, what am I doing? Die! I'm right, got ten of them already. Really? Well, sorry for all my hate on Kamari. But don't worry, I will indeed be using the hell out of this guy when I do a no speed grid. When I do a no speed grid, I use Kamari a lot. And I mean a lot. In fact, I use I use Kamari and no speed grid almost as much as I use Riku. No, Riku's in a class by herself. I I, I don't care what type of no speed grid game you're doing. I do believe that it's pretty impossible without Riku. Maybe not impossible, but very, very difficult. Because all the damage is going to come from her. All of it. Okay, guys. It's a very good thing that I'm actually close to the end of this level now. Because I'm starting to get just a little sleepy. I don't know. If you, you can probably hear it in my voice. But I'm getting pretty sleepy now. It's actually 4 o'clock in the morning. So i probably edit this thing first thing in the morning and, and have it ready for you guys to watch. I actually skipped one of these. Lulu was playing the, the fact that, that, that these are people who um who died and they might want Yuna's company. One thing I don't understand though, Lulu said that she's never been here before. If that's the case, how does she know what these statues are? There I go criticizing my favorite game again. Okay guys, as I was saying, unfortunately I'm getting a little sleepy. So I'm glad I made it to the safe sphere before I dozed off. We're going to end this thing right here. And we'll take care of the boss on the next episode. See you later. Take it easy.